previously on building Benny's movie park. I said I didn't want to spend too much time doing rocks again, but I am. This is starting to look real nice though, isn't it? Look at that. This area is finally getting some actual shape. I like that a lot. You are going to get super wet in this, but I guess that's kind of the point. That looks, um, I mean, it looks fantastic, but is it worth it? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2. I am so relieved to see you join us today. I hope you had a fantastic week. I don't know why this weird unknown person is here. Oh, wow, he disappeared. Anyway, today we're gonna work on this little area right here, so let's get into it. This spot I'm standing on right now is just too perfect for a tower sort of building. So let's make like a windmill. I think it's called a windmill, is it? That is exactly what we're going to build today. Let's see. First, I want to have like a tilted kind of wooden... Th no, wait a minute. I should probably begin with a very simple base. Essentially just the center so we know what to build around. Then here I will begin making these kind of pole structures on the sides. Four sides I think is the best. Yes, yes, that's pretty good. Then at the top here I'm gonna make two horizontal bars exactly like so. And then on top some actual planks. Isn't that just lovely? This is going to be a little bit random because obviously this is made by very very ancient Western people. <laughs> Here you go. Just like that. Oh, that is, that is lovely in it. There you go. I like the randomness this has. It's pretty, uh, pretty random. <laughs> Here you go. This one's going to be a little bit tilted even. And you probably expected this, but on here, we're going to need some of these planks as well. And all the way down here, let's see two of those. And then this is going to be just a bit above it. Here you go. Oh, oh, see, now we're getting a pretty good basic shape. However, similarly to the top area, I do want to have some randomness in here. So this is just going to be like an extra plank to extra enforce it. And the same thing on this side, just kind of like that. And then on the top here, ladies and gentlemen, is where it comes together into the windmill type element. This top part has to be rotating, of course. So let's make it at least seem like it's possible. And then on here comes the um, rotating element. I guess this is a nice direction to point it in. Then let's begin making the front like so I'm gonna make this pretty detailed because um, I like that, I guess. <laughs> pretty much the reason why I make everything the way I make it. I think something like this shouldn't be too bad for the... Um, I'm not even gonna try to explain what this is called. I simply don't know what it's called. But uh, these things... God, my English. I have to learn English. Let's place that down. There you go. And now if my calculations are correct, I should be able to just... Here you go. Just like that. Now look at that. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I feel like this is not quite perfect. I think this will look a bit better. It's a bit more spacious. Yes, I like this. Now that we've created a beautiful blue tower, let's actually paint this into the correct color. Let's first make the whole thing wooden and then we can add some variety in color there. Here you go. By the way, I completely forgot the flap kind of thing on the back. So let's make that first very quickly. There you go. Another there you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is very boring though, so let's add some nice colors. The flappy thingies are gonna be this lighter tint with some being a little bit older and darker and weathered. Yeah, weathered. <laughs> Ooh, and since this has been here for a probably a very long time, let's make these rusty like that. I love it. And of course, the actual planks should have the planks texture like so. That looks a bit better, a bit more detailed. There you go. Yes, that's it. Dude, look at that. I love the way this is looking so far, honestly. And then these rusty bases. Oh, lovely. This turned out so much better than I thought. However, nothing is complete without these bolts. So let's add some bolts there, two on this side and one right here. There, that should be right about it. I think this looks very good. Let me try and putting the sunlight on there. Here you go. Oh, I love it. This came out so much better than I thought at first. Anyway, that was a quick thing I wanted to build. By the way, I actually built some of these rocks off screen in a live stream that Cozy was doing. So as you can see, also the supports, I made a little bit more of these supports right here. This, it, it's so much work, but it does look pretty, pretty sweet. So I think I am going to actually continue doing this. 
this, but over time, gradually, you know, not instantly in one run. That is going to be torture, like actual physical pain. However, it looks sick, so it will be worth it in the end. Um, for now, let's see what shall we do. Guys, in here, we're gonna make some sort of gold mine-ish uh, thing. So let's just kind of think of how we're gonna do that, I think. Maybe if you make some very, like, tall rocks, like vertically tall rocks, we can get away with it without using too many rocks, because I feel like this area is large enough already in terms of file size. For example, if we grab one of these and just kind of put it in this corner right here and then go from there slowly down rock by rock, but still pretty rapidly like so. And then we can reach the ground pretty, pretty quickly. And if we do this same thing all around the walls, we can pretty much finish this in this episode, I think. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. I would all, I'm out all about. Anyway, back to building. These are just gonna be some very large rocks. Also, because as you can see, it is pretty dark in here. So we're gonna use some lights to kind of lighten it up, but also you won't see too much detail on the ground because you're gonna be sitting inside the um, boat thing. I hope that's the idea. So let's make the ground here um, pretty nice and flat for now, just like this. It's all kind of nice and blue. Let's paint all of this real quick so it looks a bit better at least. And now we simply have to cover the walls with these very hot rocks. Honestly, at this point, I feel like the rocks are a too big of a thing on this channel. Like, it, it's funny at first, but then at some point, now it's just very tedious. And I can't imagine it being fun to watch, like, in these amounts. So I hope, like, in further episodes, I want to build some more buildings. Like, fun stuff, not this garbage. <laughs> it looks nice. That is true, but then still, uh, it's just eh. But then again, I can't really abandon the base concept of my whole channel. So I'll always be placing some rocks at least. <laughs> anyway, let me just, uh, while adding some rocks, let me just tell you about my brand new channel, um, Rick Build Benny, where I make Lego reviews. I am very excited, actually. I'm weirdly excited about the whole thing. I mean, obviously I am a, well, <laughs> obviously I am a big Lego fan, so that's never the issue, but just making these videos, actually taking the time to appreciate those Lego sets in the way that I do if you review them. It is just something else. The amount of fun, of like happiness it brings me is insane. It's even more than my Photoshop videos did back in the day. Like at the very beginning when you, when you start something, everything is fun, right? It's all new, it's exciting. And that excitement I now feel again with this brand new channel. And it's honestly, I think it's good for me. I think it's a, this is getting way too serious. What the hell? This is supposed to be a comedy channel. What the heck is happening? The point that we're trying to make is if you like Lego or if you just like well-made review videos, I guess, because I really try to make these special, like, enjoyable for anyone, I would really, it would mean a lot to me if you could check it out. So the link is down below somewhere or on the end screen. You could probably just wait for the end screen and then you can check it out and maybe you like it. It is really just something dear to my heart, I guess, is the best way to describe it. So there you have it. Now, away with all the um, emotional stuff and just get on building because this is, um, I mean, this isn't too bad. Sure, this looks a bit strange right here, but we can just get rid of this. Besides, all of this is going to be covered with rocks, as always, as expected. So, no worries. I feel like for the ceiling, the easiest thing would be to just use these pre-made rocks and just spread them all over the ceiling. Because really, you're not going to really look at the ceiling, I feel like, much. I mean, if you're in a ride, are you going to look at the ceiling? Nah. So this is just a nice, but most of all, fast way to get this done in relatively great detail, but still not too intensive for the file size either. Although I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to finish this park because we're already pretty, pretty far in. Say what you want about the way this looks, but I did get this done in like 15 minutes. So I see this as an absolute win. Now I think it'd be pretty sweet if in here there are a bunch of these wooden round uh, supports that just kind of hold up this whole interior as if without these it would just completely collapse making the guests feel very safe of course and they're not even going to be like very nicely structured they're going to be kind of random as if not a lot of thought was put into it which is kind of a nice vibe i think for this i mean obviously this is going to be a very very old gold mine kind of thing and even a few here towards the entrance very nice i think this could actually have a pretty sick look to it here you go i like that a lot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now to kind of connect all of these poles together so it looks like it's one structure, let's just add these horizontal bars once again, kind of adding still to the overall Western theme. It seems a bit repetitive, but this simply is the way that these structures are built. So I guess we'll just have to submit to that. Even with these little nice corners as well, that looks very nice. At this point, I'm really just trying to finish these rocks here so we can move on to more fun stuff. But for now, it's rocks. Again, what a surprise. What a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. I do like actually how this is turning out so far. It looks pretty cool. Apart from the flat ground is kind of lame, but apart from that, pretty sweet to me. Especially given the amount of effort I actually put in, because this was not much work at all. And in the dark, it will look like it was. <laughs> Dude, I just had a wild idea. What if we cover the entire ground with these gold crystals? Wouldn't that be just insane? Like this entire kind of ground area here. For example, starting here, just putting one on the ground, going like this, like not all the same, some a little bit bigger than others, some smaller, some stick out further, which is really covering the entire ground instead of the traditional kind of some peeking through the walls. Seems a bit boring for this because I feel like this has some serious potential, especially this being the primary light source in the room just that has to look sick right so let me just spread around a few and uh, see what it looks like gonna turn the top light off for a sec dude doesn't this just look insane what if we even like add some variety in color some being a little bit more yellowish or like reddish i guess like that here you go oh my god dude that looks fantastic that is crazy this in combination with like maybe some lanterns could look absolutely ridiculous yeah i'm definitely sold let's go and do this uh all over the place and guys did you even know how freaking huge these guys can become like this is crazy and to add some variety in the color of the light, because without this, it's like only yellow, we can add some of these uh, more industrial kind of lights like this. I'm not sure if that's nice or not. I guess this does add something. Also one right here for a final touch. There you go. Maybe we can have these like flickering. So let's say 25 milliseconds off. There you go. Pretty cool. Adds just a little bit of ambience. I like it. Then here for now, I think we can just keep this dark. I feel like we shouldn't do too much here for now. I do think one final touch at the beginning here is to add some smoke to make sure you can't like look inside already. So let's put one here in the wall. Just right here, some of these tiny water emitters that kind of spray a little bit of moisture on you. There you go. That looks, dude, that looks sick, actually. What the heck? I love that. And then you go in and you see this. Fantastic. Dude, and these can be barrels like this, where the water just comes out of the barrel. That makes sense. In general, I feel like some barrels here isn't really a bad idea. Let's put some down. Here you go. Some bigger ones. Goes well with the theme. Here you go. I may spice this little area up and in general, just this entire turn. It's pretty bland, pretty boring still, but that is something for another day because for now, I think we've done quite some stuff. We built this beautiful windmill kind of tower thingy and of course today in here we also made this entire thing and i think it is still a bit plain it is still a bit you know some work needs to be what the hell is happening some work still needs to be done i want to make some tiny supports for the actual track as well but i think we've done some pretty pretty good stuff today if you liked this video make very sure to leave a like subscribe hit the bell not to miss a single video check out my new lego channel and then i hope i'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Movie Park 2.